Continuing our series of traveling California with kids, we decided to head to Napa. We made it to the Napa Valley. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty hard to find information about how to experience the Napa Valley with young children, so I wanted to go for myself and to see what I could find. Luckily, it wasn't too hard to rope in the grandparents for a Napa trip, so here's how we spent 24 hours exploring. Also, I should note that Napa is expensive, one of the most expensive areas in California, so plan on more than you would think for food, wine, hotels, all of that. Let's jump into it. We stayed in the town of Napa and our first order of business was to drive to St. Helena for the English muffins at the Model Bakery. The Model Bakery has been making famous breads and pastries at their original location on Main Street in St. Helena for almost 90 years. They now have multiple locations, including one at the Oxbow Market in Napa, but I always find it fun to go to the original location. It's a great place for breakfast, getting an English muffin, or getting coffee and some other pastry or sandwich. Very nice, very crispy, delicious. The best English muffin you've ever had? Sure. It is the best I've ever had. The ones the store don't even compare. It's delicious. After our English muffin, we headed on, and from here I have two options for you. The first is wine tasting, and the second is a geyser. Even though we're traveling with a family, no trip to Napa is complete without wine tasting, and this is the one we picked to go to. I did a lot of research on family-friendly wineries, and Visatui was one of the most recommended. First wine tasting experience in the Napa Valley, only two and a half years old. When I called and told them that I was coming with kids, they reiterated that they're a family-friendly spot and that they love having children here. Reservations are required and tasting started at $45 when I went. When we arrived with kids, they poured the kids their own grape juice tasting, which was pretty cool. Whoa. That is a good amount. This is very special. What do you think, bud? This is special. After the grape juice tasting, grandma took the kids to play outside and we did the adult tasting. This is one of the most popular wineries in Napa and they make great wines here, so it's a good choice even if you're new to wine tasting. Also, it's a great spot for lunch as they have a deli with sandwiches and salads and over 200 different types of cheese. You can buy something to eat and take it to the picnic tables in the back with a glass of wine and just enjoy the property. That was a great wine tasting experience in Napa. Cool property, good wines. There's sheep for the children to look at, very family friendly. Definitely a good stop. If you don't want to visit a winery, go ahead and head up to Calistoga for our second option, which is the Old Faithful Geyser of California. We've made it to the geyser in Calistoga, and we're just going to wait for it to go off every one to two hours, but it's been about 25 minutes since they opened, and they said it hasn't gone off yet, so hopefully it won't take too long. Are you excited to see a geyser, Mom? Yes, I am. <laughs> Better than going all the way to Yellowstone. My parents had never been to Napa before, so I was excited to introduce them to the area and some of my favorite spots. While you're waiting for the geyser to go off, there's a small museum, there's some goats you can see, there's lots of different things to explore around the property, and there's even some swings. It's not hard to blow an hour here, especially with young children, as there's lots for them to run around and see. Hey, normally Pops has to do this by himself, but my mom's here today, so... Yeah, there you go. Look at that guy and Papa goats. Don't do this to your senior citizen family member. <laughs> We were the only people waiting for this on a Tuesday morning, and eventually after about 30 minutes, it started to go off. This was my fifth time seeing it, and I always think it's really awesome, but my kids only saw it for about 30 seconds before they were done. <laughs> I swing again. We lasted two minutes into the geyser before everybody wants to go do something else. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish watching it myself, I guess. This is a fun spot. Kind of wouldn't expect to see something like this, but it's beautiful in the middle of the valley and the beautiful mountains behind it. This is a lot of fun. I recommend come and check it out. It's one of three faithful geysers in the United States and it goes off for about eight to 10 minutes before it stops. I agree with Pops. It's certainly a unique attraction in the Napa Valley and there's lots of stuff to do if you have to wait a little bit. Wow, buddy, are you a goat? Can you do a goat noise? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. That was about as good as it gets today. We only had to wait about 20 minutes for the geyser. Now we're heading on to our next stop. From Calistoga, we made our way south with a stop at the famous Napa Valley sign. Say Napa! 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 <laughs> this is the old grist mill. It's not open today. It's only open on the weekends, but you can actually go tour it on the weekends. I think there was a school group there today or something, that's why I was running. It's really cool to see. Definitely come here if you go on the weekends. 
From there, it was time to have lunch, so we headed back into St. Helena to Gotts Roadside about five minutes before it opened. Gotts is normally packed, and it's definitely one of my favorite places to have lunch in the Napa Valley, but at 11 on a Wednesday, we're the only people here. Basically, everything I've had here is good, but if it's your first time, I highly recommend you grab a burger and some different sides to share with the group. Oh, we're dancing. It's so good we're dancing. Green, Green chili, chili burger. Warmer with Sunny, roasted jalapeno mayonnaise or something. I love green chili. <laughs> and you love jalapeno. I love jalapeno. I love burgers. There you go. After our awesome lunch, we're heading back for nap time for these guys. We'll catch up again in the afternoon. I grabbed a hotel called the River Point Inn in Napa City. It was a great spot to stay in as it had a living room and a bedroom, so it was easy for us to spread out. Plus it was located right near the river walk so the kids could walk down and look at the water whenever they wanted. My parents sat with the kids during their nap so Amy and I were able to go wine tasting but more on that in the California Bucket List series video coming up in a few weeks. After the kids woke up it was off to Yauntville to try Bouchon Bakery. This bakery is from famed chef Thomas Keller and it has some of the best pastries you'll ever have. While the almond croissant and the macaroons are probably the most well loved, we picked a few different things so that we could try them all. You need that one too? Okay. From there, it was back into downtown Napa where we parked the car to explore a little bit on foot. We're ending our day exploring the downtown Napa area and then getting something to eat. Napa has a 9-11 memorial garden which is pretty beautiful to see. The memorial is constructed of recovered beams from the World Trade Center and the glass panels have the lists of all those who lost their lives during the attack. From there, I recommend making your way down to the Napa River Walk and looking at some of the art pieces that are on display on the way. One of the best things about downtown Napa City is it has the awesome river walk and you can park over there, lots of public parking and you can walk the river for 15-20 minutes and it's really pretty. This is especially a fun area if you have kids as the water's fun to look at and it's just a great place to run around and enjoy the beautiful Napa weather. As you get closer to the Napa General Store, there's a few different art pieces that are along the walk that you can see. We're trying to go to dinner, but everybody's more excited about the fish statue right now. After leaving the big metal fish behind, we headed over to the Oxbow Public Market. This is an awesome spot for lunch or dinner in Napa as it has many of the valley's most famous spots like Model Bakery and Gott's Roadside. We are going big for our meal in Napa, two pizzas and about as many oysters as you can grab. Hey Jack, how's your pizza buddy? Oh, you're eating a lemon? Okay, that's interesting. Sunny, how's your pizza? Good. Good, all right. Everybody but my mom loves oysters and Hog Island is one of our favorite spots in California. You already finished yours. I'm hungry. You guys gonna make your way out one of these days? After dinner, everybody had a contest to see who could walk the silliest as we made our way out of Oxbow Public Market. Thanks for exploring Napa with us. Hopefully we encourage you to come out here with your kids. Let us know what you think in the comments. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!